2020 has been a big year for Motorola already. First its own foldable phone, the Motorola Razr, and now we have the Motorola Edge Plus. The Edge Plus isn't just a rebranded Z series phone, it's a fresh start for the company's product line. This is a device pushed to the extremes and which can compete with the best such as Samsung Galaxy and Apple handsets. Motorola has furnished the Edge Plus with many elements from the leading flagships. The screen is carved over the sides like the waterfall display from the Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 lines of phones. It doesn't have an IP water and dust resistance rating, but Motorola claims its design is water repellent. And of course, it contains one of the rarest of features on a flagship phone, a 3.5mm headphone jack. The display is 6.7 inch full HD plus OLED panel, its large, sharp and the endless edge sides are very attractive. The display's 21 by 9 aspect ratio makes this phone feel narrow, meaning some people may find it awkward to use one-handed. Like many other flagship phones in 2020, you can set the edge plus to light up its sides when receiving notification. Another great feature is the 90Hz refresh rate, meaning smooth video and gameplay. The phone's specs are top tier, from its Snapdragon 865 chipset to the 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The Motorola H Plus packs a traditional quad rear camera setup. The star of the show is the 108MP main shooter, which can use pixel binning tech that reduces the megapixel count while effectively expanding the size of each pixel to let in more light. The phone also has an 8MP telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and a 16MP ultrawide camera as well as a time of flight depth sensor to enable bokeh effect in portrait shots. The main shooter can also capture video in 6K UHD. Pictures taken with this device looks great with rich color and great dynamic range. On the front there is a 25MP camera for selfies which delivers great picture quality. The H Plus is also 5G capable. It packs a 5000mAh battery and Motorola claims it will last for up to 2 days. Sadly, the H Plus max out at 18W charging, which has been the case with the previous Motorola phones. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging and 5W reverse wireless charging. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro look very similar with screens that carve at the edges and that are broken up by punch hole cutout cameras in the top left of the display. On the back there's a camera bump in the top left corner. These phones have a 6.67 inch OLED screen with HDR10 plus support and a screen refresh rate of 90Hz to make content and motion look a bit smoother. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro both run on the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage options. That chipset has an adjacent 5G modem. One of the most important features of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the 108MP main camera which takes fantastic pictures and supports 8K video recording like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a 20MP ultrawide camera and two telephoto lenses one of these is 8MP and supports 10x hybrid zoom and the other is 12MP with 2x optical zoom which is used for portrait mode. Pictures taken with the phone looks great and delivers great dynamic range and color accuracy. It also have a 20MP front facing camera which is a pretty decent resolution for selfie snapper. It comes with 4500mAh battery capacity. This phone has a 50W fast charging, 30W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging which lets you use the device as a wireless power mat for other devices. Xiaomi has a reputation for producing quality phones at affordable prices and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G is another example of that. Huawei Mate 30 Pro smartphone will be launched in October 2019. The phone comes with a 6.53 inch OLED touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9. It is powered by octa-core high silicon Kirin 9907nm processor. It comes with 8GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 40MP main shooter and a 8MP telephoto lens and a 40MP ultra-wide lens along with a 3D time-of-flight camera. There are two cameras on the front for selfies. One is 32MP and another is 3D time-of-flight sensor. This device is based on EMUI 10 on top of Android 10 and packs 256GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 4500mAh battery with 40W fast battery charging and 27W wireless charging support. It was launched in black, space silver, cosmic purple and emerald green colors.
It have a 6.78 inch display that packed with many features to enhance your viewing experience. It has a ultra HD resolution with 10 bit color, a variable 120Hz refresh rate and a 240Hz touch input rate. There is also a post ultra vision engine chipset which can automatically upgrade 60fps video to 120fps to fit the screen rate. These features combine to deliver a screen that's vibrant and which should display content beautifully. There is no 3.5mm headphone jack here so fans of wired headphones will be disappointed. The phone is IP68 protected though so it's safe from dust and water to a high degree. There's plenty of reason to believe the Oppo Find X2 Pro will be a processing powerhouse. It's got the top end Snapdragon 865 chipset and 12GB of RAM. The Snapdragon chipset endows the Find X2 Pro with super fast 5G connectivity as it has a 5G modem built in. Oppo told us there won't be a 4G only X2 headset. The Oppo Find X2 Pro has 3 rear cameras, 2 of which are 48 megapixel sensors, the main camera and an ultra wide snapper, while the third is a 13 megapixel telephoto snapper. This shooter has the same lens as the zoom module of the Oppo Reno 10x zoom, so it supports 5x optical, 10x hybrid, and 60x digital zoom. There are a few interesting features Oppo has included, such as the phone's ability to capture raw images. Raw files capture more brightness and color information than regular JPEG images, giving you more scope to process them in editing software. And an autofocus system based on Sony's alpha cameras, there is also 4K video recording at up to 60fps. On the front of the phone, there is a 32MP front facing camera in the cutout segment. Overall, the Find X2 Pro produces excellent exposure and captures a good amount of detail, even in overcast weather. Colors are accurate and lean more towards the realistic side rather than being oversaturated. In terms of battery life, you are getting a 4260 mAh pack, which would normally be pretty generous for a flagship phone. Although because of the large screen and high-end display tech, it may not actually last very long. The Oppo Find X2 Pro uses Oppo's 65W fast charging which will apparently get the device from empty to 100% in 35 minutes or less. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel, however the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology and it will come in either black or purple. It also has a full bezel at the top rather than a notch or punch hole. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. It offers some strong performance and be able to cope with all the tasks that most other top-end phones can do. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with a microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there is no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another area Sony's put a spotlight on. The camera includes a 12 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its alpha range of cameras, and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto exposure calculations at 60 frames per second, while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera, and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000 mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II up from 3330 mAh on the Xperia 1. There's also fast charging here that will allow for up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is one of the Samsung's biggest and most powerful phone and its aura colors almost symbolically reflect a smartphone luxury top to bottom. With 6.8 inch screen size, the Note 10 Plus is a massive Samsung phone but it's easy to fall in love with the screen and aura glow glass back. It's both class leading and classy looking. It can be slippery and extend beyond your natural grip. It has an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor that works smoothly. 
Samsung's use of punchy colors, a pixel dense quad HD plus resolution, and high peak brightness made its Super AMOLED screens look superb. With its Snapdragon 855 processor, the Galaxy Note 10 offers comparable performance to the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, but the addition of UFS 3.0 storage provides a speed boost. It has plenty of memory for multitasking as it offers 12GB of RAM and you get 256GB of internal storage. Unlike the Note 10, the Note 10 Plus includes a microSD card slot for expansion. When it comes to gaming performance, the Note 10 Plus has an AI-based game booster mode for optimizing performance and power consumption based on the game. The Note's secret weapon is the S Pen Stylus and this phone comes with some new neat tricks. It's shorter and thinner than before but it still accomplishes the same great fine tip note taking. There are 4 cameras on the back. There is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera and 12 megapixel telephoto lens and an ultra wide shooter to fit in more of the frame and a depth sensor to achieve more convincing bokeh effects when shooting portraits. The main 12 megapixel camera captures bright and punchy colors. The photo quality is amazing and delivers great dynamic range. It is also supported by optical image stabilization. Color rendering is good, producing vivid and pleasant colors, and the auto white balance system produces good results even under artificial lighting. Low light photos look better than ever thanks to a dedicated night mode with superior post processing technology. The telephoto lens offers 2x optical zoom. Zoomed pictures show great details and color too. The ultra wide lens can fit more into the frame and does not disappoint the user. The Note 10 Plus offers 4K video recording at 60fps and 960fps super slow motion recording at 720p resolution. The phone offers live focus video effects, so you can blur out the background or change the background to black and white while the subject is in color. There is an improved super steady mode in the camera. Once you press the button and start recording, the camera can minimize any camera shake. The 10 megapixel front camera captures solid selfies with great color and accuracy. There is also a night mode for the front camera now. The Note 10 Plus offers live focus effects when shooting portraits, similar to the Galaxy S10 Plus. You can record 4K video at 30fps with the front camera. With 4300 mAh battery capacity, it will get you through more than a day and it charges much more quickly than previous Samsung phones. It also supports 45W fast and 15W fast wireless charging. If you love watching Netflix, YouTube and Instagram stories on your smartphone and want a phone with great performance and camera, then the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G is for you. OnePlus has added the best display it's ever made on the 8 Pro and the Chinese company says it's the best screen you will see on a phone for 2020. It is a 6.78 inch fluid display with a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus support and QHD resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro features a circular punch hole camera cutout in the top left corner of the screen. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the first handset from the brand to carry an official IP rating which means it's officially protected against dust and water. The phone features Qualcomm's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 chipset which comes with Qualcomm's X55 5G modem to enable super-fast internet speeds where 5G is available. The OnePlus 8 Pro packs four rear cameras including a 48MP main camera with a 1.78 aperture. There's also a 8MP telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom and ultra-wide 48MP camera with a 119-degree field of view and a dedicated 5MP color filter camera that lets you apply artistic filters as you are shooting. The OnePlus 8 Pro's main 48MP camera and wide-angle shooter take sharp and vibrant shots, especially in outdoor lighting. The dynamic range and color accuracy is great. In addition to that, the camera's 3x lossless zoom can take pictures without losing detail. It can also digitally zoom up to 30x, but the photo quality really degrades at this level. The camera can also shoot 4K video and has optical image stabilization. On the front, there is a single 16MP selfie camera which delivers stunning quality. Overall, the OnePlus 8 Pro cameras are a big improvement over the camera setups found on the 7 Pro and 70 Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a sizable 4510mAh battery, which is the biggest OnePlus has ever put in a handset. The OnePlus 8 Pro could comfortably last a day on a single charge with typical uses including gaming, video playback, social media, messaging, video calls and photography. iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone was launched in September 2019. 
The phone comes with a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED touch screen display with 83.7% screen to body ratio. It is powered by Apple A13 Bionic 7nm processor. It comes with 4GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. There are two cameras on the front for selfies one is a 12 megapixel camera and another time of flight 3D camera. This device is based on iOS 13 and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by 3969 mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. It was launched in space grey, silver, gold and midnight green colors. The P40 Pro features a quad curve overflow display with curved glass at all four edges. There are still very thin bezels at the top and bottom. The 6.58 inch screen on the Huawei P40 Pro has a resolution of 1200 by 2640. Huawei has increased the refresh rate of the screen to 90Hz which is faster than the 60Hz of its previous phones but not quite as fast as competing handsets like the S20 and Oppo Find X2 Pro that offer a 120Hz display. The Huawei P40 Pro is powered by the same Kirin 9905G chipset that we have seen in the Mate 30 Pro 5G and Huawei's folding phone, the Mate XS. This is based on 7nm manufacturing technology and is plenty fast enough to keep up with the latest flagship phones. The processor is teamed up with 8GB of RAM and also currently the only high-end chipset with integrated 5G, meaning it will work well with the dedicated 5G networks of the future as well as with the current hybrid LTS 5G networks. If there's one thing that has made Huawei's P-series phones stand out from the crowd, it's the camera tech. The P20 and P30 handsets raised the bar when it came to the mobile photography and Huawei is looking to raise it higher again with the P40 Pro. On the rear section, the Leica branded camera setup composed of a 50 megapixel primary and 40 megapixel ultra wide cameras and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that's capable of 5x optical zoom or 50x digital zoom. There's also a time of flight sensor for creating bokeh effect in portrait mode shots. With the P40 series, Huawei is debuting its XD Fusion engine, which uses AI to optimize your photos. Huawei was one of the first manufacturers to get on board with AI, and the results on the P40 Pro are impressive. The phone can remove friends from a picture and even reflections that appear when you are trying to photograph anything that's behind a glass. The P40 Pro also features impressive zooming capabilities, and Huawei isn't shy talking about that. Low light photography has been a strong point for Huawei and the P40 Pro doesn't disappoint on that front. The P40 Pro's rear camera layout is capable of shooting Ultra HD 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, as well as super slow motion at up to an eye-watering 7680 fps. Both modes are available on the ultra wide and wide cameras. Up front is a 32 megapixel selfie shooter backed up by laser guided autofocus. The 32 megapixel selfie shooter is able to capture lots of detail and color in almost all lighting conditions. The Huawei P40 Pro is equipped with a 4200 mAh battery, which should last you a full day of moderate to heavy uses. It supports 40 watt fast wired charging as well as wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display, which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings, which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your finger's reach, but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus, and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 
16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of internal storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone, but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera, and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra-wide camera. There's also a time-of-flight depth camera on the back, aiding portrait photos and 3D scans, and a 40MP selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108MP camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality, while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery, which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is.